It is summertime. We are in full travel season. Today I wanted to share some stuff with you that I have found on Amazon that I think will make your travels, whether you're going on a road trip or you're flying somewhere, so much easier. So if you're interested to see some awesome travel essentials that you need from Amazon, then just keep on watching. Hey everyone, it's your girl Jessica. And if you are new here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to come check out today's video. I make fashion, lifestyle, and travel videos. I like to focus on sharing things in those realms that are affordable ideas that will help you live your most fabulous, chic life, but without breaking the bank. So if that sounds like something that you want to hear more about, then I would very much love you to consider hitting that red subscribe button right down below. And then while you're there, you just might wanna ding the notification bell. That way you just get a little, notification pop up whenever I upload a new video. Typically that is on Mondays and Thursdays. Today is an Amazon must haves video travel edition. I'm so excited to share these products with you all. You will find everything that I'm gonna share with you today linked down in the description box. You can shop everything very easily. Also just want to remind you in case you don't know, I have an Amazon storefront, um, which you can find at amazon.com slash shop slash miss more style. And again, I will put that link down in the description box. And my storefront is a great place for you to bookmark because I'm always adding new things that I curate from Amazon in different categories for you to shop easily. So you can discover some cool new stuff on Amazon without having to do all the work yourself of scrolling around. Go check it out, bookmark it and check back because I'm always adding fun things that I find there. All right, so the first item that I want to share with you all is a good carry. Now, if you're like me, I travel with a lot of different gear and things when I go on trips. So I usually have my laptop, my Kindle, I have my vlogging camera, I have my DSLR, I have charging cords and all different things that I like to usually pack in my carry-on because I wanna keep that stuff with me. But I needed a good carry-on to be able to pack all these things and I've struggled to find one that I like that was aesthetic, but also practical at the same time, you know? Cause like I, I want form and function to be harmoniously married together in any thing that I have. And so I stumbled upon this backpack, which is from a brand called Light Flight. And it is super cute. So it's this great, like very like blushy, light colored pink color. And it, it fits so much stuff. It keeps all of my electronic stuff, especially very much more organized than how I used to pack before. And what I really think is super awesome as well is it has one little pocket in here, which is RIFD safe. So you could pack your passport, your um, wallet with your ID and your credit cards in this pocket. And you know that if you're somewhere in a big crowd and somebody's walking through and trying to scan and get people's information, because unfortunately that's the world we live in, your information will be safe because you have it in that RFID pocket. But it, this just has like this main big compartment with, you can see like a space for like a laptop. You can put like tablets and stuff in the smaller ones. It's got these little mesh pockets down here. Um, and then on the flip side, of course, you have the RFID safe pocket. You've got another pocket. Then you've got the, the middle compartment, which has even more like zipper pockets and pockets going on. On this side, it has yet another pocket. Then you've got the front section, which has, you guessed it, even more pockets. Zipper pocket here. Um, and then the very, very front section, another pocket. And it's got this little hook that's on the inside of it. You can put your keys on there to make sure you don't lose them. I have an air tag on there, which we will get to later in this video. That is like a big travel hack. So stay tuned. It also has little pockets on each side for bottles. And then you've also got another little hidden pocket right here, which is pretty spacious. And then I also love that it has the luggage, um, handle thing so that you can slide this over your rolling suitcase so that you do not have to have this backpack on your back. Um, but I do find this to be very, very comfortable. The straps are like really nice and like they have some padding to them. So I found this to be a really very comfortable backpack to wear even when I had it packed to the gills, which on our, our recent uh, European trip, I really, really did. The other cool thing about it that I wanna mention is back compartment, which is the one that has the, like laptop sort of area. It has anti-theft zippers. So basically these little zippers whoop, snap themselves together so that your zipper is shut. So regardless, you can't have any sneaky pickpocket people get into this section. So you can make sure you can put your valuable stuff in there and it will be safe. I love this backpack so much. The only downside about it, I think, is the fact that it's very light colored. I've only used it on one trip so far and it's already a little bit banged up. So it is the price you pay for having light colored things. So just keep that in mind. But I do believe it comes in like black as well, but 
I just lived for this color. This next item is absolutely clutch for me, especially if you're going to Europe. Sometimes their airlines have different baggage weight policies than American or US airlines would have. Like they um, will charge you if your bag, even if your carry-on is over a certain weight. So you really wanna be conscious of the weight of your bags, right? And even in the States, it's definitely a thing for me. I'm always like kind of guesstimating how heavy my bag feels. Uh, and I'm always like right under the weight limit, if not like a little bit over and having to like pull things out of my suitcase. I'm an overpacker, what can I say? So if you're like that, you need a luggage scale. I love this thing. It already has batteries in there. You just push the power button, it turns on, and then you take this strap. You would just take the little strap with the hook, latch it right there, and you just hold the scale like this, and it will tell you how much the bag weighs. So it says right now this bag weighs 2.2 pounds. It's so handy to have. It is such a small little device, so it really isn't gonna take up much space in your luggage or your bags. So it's something that I always carry with me so that I can make sure that I haven't go not gonna have any surprises when I get to the airport. I can rearrange my bags um, before I leave the hotel or my home just to make sure I'm not that person at the gate or at the counter, like furiously trying to like, mess with what is in which bag. Okay, now nothing is worse than going on a long flight, a red eye, uh, long haul flights, you know, when you're gonna wanna sleep and not having a neck pillow. Now I have tried a lot of neck pillows in my day. I have really been on the lookout for the best one. And this one I think is my new favorite. I used this when we went to Europe. And the thing I like about it is that A, it can fold up really small and it fits inside this handy little travel bag that comes with this little um, snap that you can snap around your suitcase or your carry-on so that you don't have to worry about carrying around your neck pillow. But what I like is that it kind of like has this Velcro right here and you just sort of wrap it around your neck. It sort of looks like a snake. And it's really, I mean, I can put my head to the side, but because it's so supportive of the front of my neck, I can fall asleep on a plane, but if I don't have a neck pillow, inevitably my head is gonna fall forward and I'm gonna like jerk myself awake. This really, really helped me on the flight to Europe to get to sleep and stay asleep because like I said it just it support it comes up so high that basically you're almost wearing like a neck brace and you cannot your chin is not going to go anywhere and what I like is you can kind of like arrange it so if you want to lay like more to this side you can put it to this side um, or vice versa you could put it over here if you want like whichever side you want to lay towards um, and it also is super great because <clears throat> the back of it doesn't have a whole lot of padding so when you're laying in your seat you aren't having like that, you're not being like pushed forward uncomfortably by the back of your neck pillow. So I really like this one. I'm open though. If you guys have found a neck pillow that you think is life changing, then I need you to please leave me a comment down below because I'm always trying to experiment to see if there's something better out there. Speaking of sleeping on planes, if you get cold on planes, having a blanket with you is so clutch, especially like I said, for a long haul flight when you wanna try to get the best rest that you can so you wake up in your final destination refreshed and with plenty of sleep, or at least as much as you could have, Nate kind of turned me on to this brand, Rumple Blankets. Now, if you haven't heard of this company, it's pretty cool. They're based out of Seattle. It's a very sustainable brand. They make these blankets and they're all made out of plastic water bottles that they took out of a landfill. So that alone is amazing. Like, yes, let's use things and not put them into the earth. But this is a blanket. It's a travel size blanket and it comes with this little carrying case so it can be nice and compact. It's all rolled up into there and it's just got this little buckle so you could buckle this again around a bag or something. So it's just kind of like hanging off of your suitcase or hanging off of your carry-on. And then once you take the blanket out, this one is in this really fun bright gradient color. It's not very big. It's literally just big enough to like cover yourself in a plane. But what's cool about it is the fact that it's not super thick. It also has this little buckle right here. And on the other opposite corner of the blanket, it has this little hook. So what you can do, cause I don't know about you, but when I've tried to put blankets over myself on a plane, they inevitably sometimes fall down, is you can put this behind, you can buckle it. So it's lashed and buckled. Now, basically you can just fall asleep and the blanket will stay on you, it won't slip down, it won't fall off because it is secured and you can like get your arms out from it if you need to without messing with it. So it's actually really cool. And Nate wanted me to say that you can also wear it like a cape or a poncho, which not exactly sure why you would want to, but yeah, 
it's cool. I also love this because we took it with us to Europe and we used it as a picnic blanket the day that we went to the Eiffel Tower and we had a little picnic in the park. Um, it made a great little picnic blanket that wasn't like super annoying to carry around the city that day. So a really handy blanket for travel, especially for air travel. This is more for the ladies out there or those of you who wear makeup. I guess I shouldn't assume, but when I travel, I like to try to like carry the least amount of makeup possible, but you kind of have to have those makeup brushes. It's just, you're not gonna be able to apply your makeup without them. And one thing that I hate when I get to a destination is digging through like the little makeup bag that I bring to like find my brushes. I will always try to find a cup or a glass in the hotel or the Airbnb where I'm staying in and use that in the bathroom just for my makeup brushes to just sit up like how they would at home. I don't know, it's a weird thing. But I discovered this travel bag that is specifically for your makeup brushes. It zips shut and then it opens right out like this. As you can see, it's got all these little elastic uh, rings in there to stick your makeup brushes in. And then it just basically can sit up like, upright like this on the bathroom vanity and voila, your makeup brushes are sitting upright. They're not all getting all dirty in your makeup bag. I mean, that's the worst. Like, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys when you travel, but like your makeup bag gets jostled around too much and like in inevitably like your blush or your eyeshadow or highlighter or something that is a powder like cracks and breaks and then you open it up and you didn't realize it had broken it. The powder just gets everywhere, like all over your brushes or like sometimes I've had like a foundation, like a liquid foundation leak in the bag and then the liquid foundation is all in your brush. It's just, it's terrible. So this is so nice because it keeps your brushes separate from your makeup, from any mishaps. And it just is so nice to be able to like have them standing up right like this. You can see everything. I even like to stick like my um, eyeshadow or my uh, eyeliner and my eyebrow pencils in here as well. Anything that's a long, thin object, not basically not a palette or a, a jar of product, I put in here. Another really handy holder organizer for traveling is this sunglasses holder. So this is such a cool thing that I discovered. It basically snaps shut right here and it's got this little tab right here so you can hang it when you get to your destination. But how cool is that? So it fits, fits five pairs of glasses or sunglasses or both. You could do a mix of both. Um, and they just are in there perfectly. They're not gonna get smashed or banged up inside of your suitcase and it's just so much more organized. You can hang this and see everything when you get to where you're going and then when you're ready to go, you just roll it right back up, snap it, throw it back in your bag and you know that all of your eyewear is going to be protected and not get scratched or anything happen to it. So this was really cool. They make some that are not as big. They have ones that are just like three. So maybe five space is a little excessive for you. Maybe you just want three. They have that too. So I will link some of the options down there, but I, I thought this was such a cool thing to have, especially like if you're like me and you have eyeglasses, like I need to at least bring a pair of eyeglasses on any trip that I go on. And then I usually wanna bring a couple different pairs of sunglasses because you know, having options, it's the best. Sort of organizer that I have absolutely fallen in love with is this jewelry organizer. I, first of all, just love like how it looks. It's this really dusty pink with this pretty sort of, um, quilted detailing and it's got a little magnetic snap right here when you open it up hopefully everything is secured in here yes okay so this thing is so brilliant you've got two of these little pillow cylinder things i'm dropping stuff that you can use for your rings so you basically unsnap them and you slide your rings over them and then you snap it back to there and they're nice and secured. They're not gonna fall all over the place and you will not be losing any rings. <laughs> a couple earrings were not secured. They've also got this sort of tab that comes out and you can put your earrings that have a post through the holes. So now all of these are organized and this also snaps back to be secured. There is also a pocket down below here. That's a zipper pocket, which I usually use um, to hold like my little bracelets and things like that. Got yet another pocket right right here, which I have actually never used this pocket, but you can put some other little odds and ends jewelry wise, maybe some more bracelets over here. And then even more storage on this side, you've got these clear um, zipper compartments, which I would usually use to um, store my earrings that don't have like that straight post on them. The ones that are more of a, a curved back is what I would normally use these pockets for. And then when you flip it, you've got a necklace organizer because nothing is worse than putting your necklaces in like a little bag and then when you get to where you're going they're all tangled up with each other so this just has four different little snaps you can unsnap them stick the necklace in there snap it 
and it's gonna stay on its own. You can even take the necklace and thread it through these little elastic bands and then into the bottom. It's not gonna work that well with this chain style, but you get the picture. You can kind of like contain them a little bit more if you wanted to by sticking them um, into these little pockets below to keep everything just nice and contained. It's it's life-changing because like I used to be so disorganized with my jewelry, but I feel like with this, it helps me see all of the jewelry that I brought like in a, a great way. So like when I'm getting dressed for the day and accessorizing, I have more of an understanding of what I have to work with and what might work together well and comes in some other colors too if you're not really into this pink color. Quids, I just, I feel like everybody needs to have a little travel clear plastic bag like this. This kit was so great and it's not going to look as good as when it showed up because I've already used it on a trip. But essentially it's a plastic baggie that is the correct size for TSA for carrying on and they have all these little containers that it comes with that they come empty and in varying sizes. So two of these like bigger size ones which I use for shampoo and conditioner and then you get two of these little smaller ones which you could use for body lotion, um, which whatever you want to put in them. And then it also comes with four little empty pot containers that you can fill with moisturizer or eye creams, different things like that, scoopy things to help you like scoop the product out of its original packaging to put it into these cleaner um, to clean these out. So let's say if you wanted to put a new product in them, you can use this. Comes with these little adhesive stickers that are clear and they're all different labels. So it's like sunscreen, hand cream, lotion, soaps, essence, makeup remover, facial cleanser, shower gel, any toiletry that you could possibly want to put in one of these, they have a little label for it. So you can peel it off and stick it on the corresponding one so that you know which one is which. Also comes with a little spray bottle as well. Thing is worse when you're traveling than being thirsty. And one hack that I've always done is brought a water bottle with me to the airport empty so that when I get through security, I fill it up with water at a water fountain. And then you have a full water bottle with you on the plane. Now, my water bottles all tend to be big metal things and they can be kind of annoying to lug around when you're traveling with so much other stuff. So packable water bottles are the thing to grab for when you're traveling. And Nate discovered this one. He bought this before our Europe trip. And this is a great example of a packable water bottle because when there's no water in it, it's like paper thin and you can roll it up and stick it right in your bag um, so that it's not an annoying big bottle that's empty that you're carrying around. You know, once it's served its purpose and you've drank all the water, you can kind of like stop being this annoying thing that you're carrying around. But then when you have water in it, it's super lightweight. It's kind of like just a little canteen. It's got a little carabiner so you can clip it onto your bag so that you don't have to carry it. You can be hands-free. Use this so much, like not only like on the plane, but like just walking around during the day when we would go out and um, do our exploring of whatever city we were in. This was so handy to have. And again, it's it's nice because when, you're, when you've drank all the water from it, it folds up and it just goes into a bag so easily. Is this the most aesthetic one ever? No, Nate chose this. There's some really cute ones out there that I will also link down below if you're like me and you'd like to have something that's also very aesthetically pleasing at the same time. But this one really gets the job done and I'm impressed and I, it's great. I even use this when I go on hikes and stuff around the neighborhood. One thing that I noticed a lot when we were in Europe was a lot of girl, like European girls had these crossbody cases for their cell phones rather than carrying a purse. And I think it's so brilliant. So I wanted to order one. This one I think is my favorite that I ordered. It's from this brand called Lamiku. And I don't know, is the camera gonna pick it up? Yeah, there we go. And you see this like woven white iridescent texture that this has. It is so pretty. It comes in other colors, like an iridescent black. It comes in various, various other colors, but this one I thought was gorgeous. The chain strap that comes with it is also just so cute. It also has that like iridescentness going on, the gold chain. And I absolutely love this because also you have this little zipper pocket on the back you open it up and you've got several little compartments to put your ID, your credit card to put some cash. It also comes with this RFID blocking card that you can keep in there, which supposedly, I guess, helps again to block um, people who have one of those scanners in a crowd from scanning your ID and your credit card numbers. It came with a shorter strap that you could detach this one and use the shorter one, which was like literally 
maybe like that. So it's more for like handheld or just wearing around your wrist. But I even love this just being here at home in LA. Sometimes when I go run errands, I don't wanna have like a whole purse on me. Like when I'm going grocery shopping, I wanna be hands free from my phone, but I also wanna be able to access my phone really easily because I have my grocery list on it. So I can have just this hanging crossbody when you need to look at something, you just pick it up and you just let it go. And it's so handy. I don't know how I like lived without this. Another similar idea to that that I thought was so cute was this one. It's a bit more inexpensive than the other one. It's just like a silicone. It's kind of a little bit more flimsy, but it looks very much like a Chanel bag kind of has that vibe the quilting it comes in a bunch of colors too but this this color pink right now is just speaking to me um but it has this little shorter strap that is not detachable and then it has this longer chain strap that is detachable that you can wear it cross body and then it also has this little folder compartment in there so you could stick your id and some credit cards and maybe like a little bit of cash if you wanted to um and this is this is so adorable i think it was like 13 dollars. another really cool product that nate discovered and I might have to get one but I wanted to share it is this handy charger from Mophie now it is a little bit pricier I believe he told me this was like over a hundred dollars but it is so cool especially when you're traveling and you have multiple Apple devices um, like we both have our own Apple watch we both have our own airpods and we both have our own iPhones so that's like three different cords and bricks that you have to remember to bring with you with this it's this really cool uh, charging pad that folds up on itself so nicely and it's a little bit magnetic so it just closes on itself but you just lay this out on a table or on your nightstand and you can put your watch your phone and your airpods right here and it charges them only using one cord the USB-C cord so you know it's gonna be a fast charge and it comes with a brick as well so instead of having three different cords three different bricks having to find three different outlets you only have one for the price of three. So this is just such a cool thing. And Nate actually uses this on his nightstand every night. Um, so he doesn't just use this when we travel. This is like his everyday thing. But I think I wanted to mention this because I thought it would be a great thing to have when you're traveling just to minimize the amount of chargers that you're packing. Okay, I promised that I would share with you guys my big travel hack towards the end of the video. So here I am to talk about the air tags. Now this is another thing that Nate kind of had to convince me to do. I was a little skeptical. Once we did this on our recent European trip, I will never travel without these again. So I'm sure if you've had the news on at any point this summer, you've heard them just talking about how crazy traveling has been lately, how all these bags are getting lost. Some people have had their bags lost for like a month, right? And the airline doesn't know how to find them, doesn't know what to do. If you're going to check a bag, get yourself some air tags and put your air tags inside of your checked luggage. It's so brilliant because basically you can track your luggage wherever it is and air tags are fine to go inside of checked luggage because they're not a lithium battery. So there's no fear of anything bad happening when you check it and it goes in the cargo hold. It was so like such good peace of mind every step of the journey on the way to Europe to be able to like when we got to one uh, airport where we had a layover turn on the phone you can see tracking in your find my app on your phone where that your luggage is still is in the same airport as you so you know like when you get to baggage claim and you're kind of nervous i mean i've had my bags lost a couple times on some pretty big trips before so i always like get like a little bit of ptsd like anxiety when i'm standing at baggage claim because i'm always like oh is this going to be the next time that like my bag doesn't get here with this, you just go on to your Find My, you can see it, you can see that it's in the same airport as you, so you know you're good. And God forbid the airline lose your bags, now you have an AirTag in it and you can better maybe assist the people at the airline to sort of help you find your bags, locate them and send them back to you. I think it was, they were like $99 at the Apple store on Amazon, they're $10 cheaper for a pack of four. They're absolutely great. We bought these little um, AirTag holders um, like a pack of five of them from Amazon. They have a uh, little clasp so you can put them on anything. Now that we're home, I took the AirTag out of my luggage and I put it on my car keys. So in, just in case I ever lose my car keys, now my AirTag is on there and I can find them. And it's so clutch because I'm always losing my car keys. Um, I also have an AirTag <clears throat> in the pink backpack that I showed you guys earlier. And I keep it on that one because I use that bag when I go to set and different things. So I kind of like to keep the AirTag in that backpack because usually when I'm using that backpack, it means that I have my laptop. Sometimes I have my camera. I have some like high tech gear in there that I want to make sure that I can track down if anything happens. So they're great when you travel, but when you get home, you can also repurpose them to track other things 
as you see fit. Which, all right, well, if I look really shiny, it's because I've been standing in my studio filming this video with no AC on for the last 30 minutes and it has gotten very hot in here. So I am going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found some really cool things to make your travels just a little bit easier, more convenient and more enjoyable. Um, let me know in the comments down below if there's something from Amazon that you never travel without that I didn't mention. I would love to hear about it because I'm always looking to add more things for like just to make traveling easier and less um, stressful and less of a hassle. So please drop those down below so that I can check them out. If you're not already subscribed yet and you're still here, what are you waiting for? Just hit that red subscribe button. Just do it. Just I have a couple videos right here that you might want to check out. Maybe my recent European adventures. So check out a couple more videos and stick around for a bit. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.